Welcome to Omega Ed. Everyone's heard of dry eyes, but dry eyes as a condition is often misunderstood. Today, we are going to tackle myths about dry eye disease. Myth number one: Dry eye is just an inconvenience. It's no big deal. Well, it actually kind of is because. Dry eyes is actually an ocular disease. It can be a condition of poor tear production, poor oil gland function, too much inflammation, or a combination of all of those things. The good news: we can test for that. Myth number two: my eyes are watery, so I can't actually have dry eyes. Fact: actually, watery eyes. Can be a sign of dry eyes. Our corneal nerves sense that the ocular surface is poorly moisturized, so it sends a signal to the brain for help. The reflexive tearing that happens indeed causes watery eyes, but these tears don't restore the balance very well. And then, our corneal nerves sense that the ocular surface is poorly moisturized, so it sends a signal to the brain for help. The reflexive tearing that, wait, I've been here before. I'm stuck in a cycle. That's kind of what happens with dry eyes. So, if you've got watery eyes, it's time to come in and let us take a look. Myth number three: All eye drops are the same. They're actually not at all. There are watery ones, thicker ones, preserved ones. Non-preserved ones, medicated ones, take the red out ones, some we've never heard of before ones, and well, you get the point. Here's what you need to know: depending on what kind of dry eyes you have, certain drops are going to be better. But you gotta know what type of dry eye you have first. A general rule, though, a lot of those take the red out drops are actually not great for you long term. Make sure you ask your eye doctor about the proper eye drops for you. Myth number four: If my dry eyes are pretty minor, I don't need to worry about it. Actually, early diagnosis and earlier treatment strategies make it easier to control dry eye disease later. Dry eye disease is progressive, so the best time to start tackling it is now. Let me show you. On the left side is a normal scan of my bomian glands. The oil glands in your eyelids, which produce a big component of your tear film, these are long, healthy, and all accounted for. Over here on the right side is a scan of very unhealthy meibomian glands in someone who has pretty severe dry eyes. The meibomian glands are distorted, and actually some of them are gone because those glands are dead and they won't come back. This scan is of someone who is 40 years old, lives in Oklahoma, is on electronics a lot. And didn't really feel like their dry eyes were that bad in the beginning. Sound familiar? Don't let this be you. We can help. We offer this imaging technology called LipView here at Oklahoma Medical Eye Group. Myth number five: Dry eye disease is just an eye problem. It can actually be a sign of much more than an eye problem. Lots of systemic conditions like arthritis, diabetes, Sjogren's, thyroid conditions, and even certain medications can cause dry eyes. Make sure you're getting your eyes checked, and make sure to ask your eye doctor about how your systemic health can affect your eyes. If you have any questions or want to learn more, check out our website at www.omed2020.com and take our dry eye questionnaire, or. Feel free to call us at 918-747-2020 for our Tulsa location, or 918-335-1515 for our Bartlesville location. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Omega.